Smallands Radio Sport in association with Leak Building Society. Josh, Josh, thanks for uh, joining us on Morelands Radio. So just give us your assessment of the game. Um, we started really poorly for the first ten minutes, and they, you know, they uh, they've got everything to play for, haven't they? Witten and I felt it would probably be one of two things: either that they, the anxiety and the 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 pressure around the game for them might have made them nervy from the start and allowed us to play our football, or, or the opposite that actually come really after us aggressively. And um, I think the aftermath of Tuesday, well, Saturday and Tuesday for us really told. You know, it took us a while to to settle down. Um, actually, after conceding for ten minutes, and I thought we were really good. Um, we controlled the, the 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 game and got into good areas. So Robbie hits the bar, uh, gets in down the right hand side. Has another good moment where uh, where I think Danny Parry's one away uh, in goal for him, and and um, yeah, and then obviously. We, did, we didn't kind of stay in the ascendancy, I wouldn't say, um, without them being on top either. Obviously, we get the goal to start the second half, which was which was pleasing. Um, it was good, a really good finish from, from Lucas. Um, and, and I don't think they've won the game. I think ultimately two moments um, and poor, poor defending have obviously given them the game. So, um, you know, it's really disappointing because, and, and, and particularly with it being quick fire as it was, you know, that, that was really good stuff in our bus. I'm not going to turn around and uh, and start slagging them off um, for what maybe a look like a, a, a performance at times lacked energy and life because you know they've given absolutely everything and I think that you know it would be really really unfair of me to and re, you know re, really lacking in any empathy if I came out and started saying that they you know that they, there wasn't enough energy they didn't work hard enough that would be I think completely unfair so. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it's anybody that was watching this game could see that uh, Leek were walking wounded. I mean, you play players out of position, you know, I mean, a makeshift bench. It's not the settled time side that won the league, so anybody can see that they are the walking wounded. But it's a lot of games to pack in in short, short children. You must just want the end of the season now. Um, oh, yeah, we've obviously got one more game to go, so, you know, we're going to do absolutely everything to make sure that we finish the season on a positive. Um, the season's been incredible and we want to make sure that we finish it um, as we started it and, and put another three points on the board because um, that's the least that everybody associated with the club and all the supporters and you know everybody that comes out and watches and supports us and, and uh, invests their time and money into the League Town Football Club deserves so you know one more massive effort we've got to, we've got to find a way of uh, of getting ourselves right for that. Obviously, we've got a week to prepare, which is which is you know a bit of an anomaly in in recent times. Um, so hopefully, you know, we can get ourselves ready to go for it and put on one more performance. And are you uh, tempted to bring the likes of Julius and Denny back in? Will Dan Tricky Smith of in, uh, Fitness have improved by next Saturday, or is it going to be another makeshift side? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to see how. How they do, how they settle down this week. I mean, Julius is a is a little bit more straightforward in the sense that his is a time frame thing more than anything. So he is allowed to be involved um, so long as he feels that he can be involved. So again, that'll just be a, a, an ongoing thing this week around you know um, seeing how he's feeling. Obviously, we'll get him into train and and, and see how he's doing. Um, but of course, we will always be very very cautious if there's any any sign whatsoever that he doesn't feel right then, then we won't we won't risk it um, and with with Dan I'm, I'm not sure I'm not sure to be honest I think he's uh, you know obviously the Avro game he felt he felt his knee a little bit not to the extent of, of obviously the, the, the injury that kept him out for a couple of months but again for for what it's worth um, you know it, it, we've got to be we've just got to be sensible with that and, um, you know he's he, he, you know fair play to him he, he got there out there on Tuesday for that last ten minutes, you know, when we were trying to create something. Um, he hasn't made it any worse by doing that, but he's just not quite right. So um, we'll have to wait and see. Got to turn next week into celebration, whatever happens, haven't you? Because it is the celebration of probably what's been one of the best seasons in league's history. So you want the people of league come out, you know, support the walking wood because we can all tell that they are feeling, you know, the length of the season 
and the amount of games played and the effort given. But next week is all about the celebration, celebration of what you and your management team have achieved alongside the players and all the people behind the, the scenes as well. Yeah, I hope so. And, and again, it would be amazing if people come out to, to support us in the numbers that they have been doing in recent weeks, um, because I'm sure that that would give the players a huge, a huge lift. Um, you know, and again, we're not making any excuses. You know, at the end of the day, we're still fielding a team today of eleven very, very competitive players and bringing on players into the game that are, you know, more than capable of making a difference. So, you know, at the end of the day, we haven't got excuses um, for not, uh, you know, for not being able to put on a performance next week. So, you know, yeah, it'd be amazing to, to get that support and, uh, and and like you've said, mate, turn it into a celebration. Now, listen, we've noticed that you've picked two yellow cards up now, which is very unlike you. Just tell us what that one was about today. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed about that, to be honest. And, um, you know, I apologise because it's not it's not my nature. Um, you know, I've been probably getting too involved and frustrated by things outside of my control in recent weeks. Um, today it was to do with the ball being taken 15 yards away from from where it should have been but it's it's more the response that you get when you try to have the conversation and um, but but again it's it is that's you know I shouldn't have I shouldn't have engaged and, I, and I'm moving forward I'll I'll go back to what I was doing at the early parts and, and just ignoring officials but it shows that you care and also uh, I think you, if nobody if anybody said there was nothing on this game you just needed to look at your bench today because you'd have thought you were in a cup final and that's a great example to set for the players because if you're up for it you're expecting them to be up for it yeah, yeah, but it doesn't excuse. Um, it doesn't excuse sort of picking up cautions for December because again, that's not what we that's not what we preach. That's not what we want from the players. Our discipline record this season has been outstanding. Um, we've had one red card, in, uh, which was a goalkeeping um, mistake um, earlier on in the season, the FA Trophy. We had a red card in the league. Not sure how many clubs can say that in this level of football. It shows the discipline we've got. I hope that. Carries on into next, you know, into next week's game as well. Um, so yeah, no, of course we care, but at the same time we've got to be able to control our emotions and control the controllables and things we can't control are officials. Well, Josh, it's been another uh, great performance because even though it was a, not a victory, the victory that you wanted, you can, couldn't fault the effort from the lads today. No, absolutely not. And like I say again, thank you very much to everyone that's come out and the support that we, that we get, and uh, we'll do our very best again next week to try and put on a show, like I said. And let's turn that into a celebration. Yeah, we will do. That is Josh Breo joining us live in the Mullins Radio commentary, pos- commentary position. And uh, again, congr- Mullins Radio Sport in association with Leak Building Society.